Welcome everybody to my fast and easy guide for the 2024 Old School RuneScape Easter event. To start this event, you want to go talk to the Easter Bunny, who is located against the southern wall just south of the Grand Exchange. Once you're here, you want to talk to the Easter Bunny, hold down the space bar, you're going to be doing that for everybody you talk to in this guide, and then click yes to start the Easter event. Hold the space bar till the dialogue's done, head a few squares south and talk to the upset Easter Egg Hunter, who looks like a drunk guy holding a beer. After you're done talking to him, Talk to the protester who's holding a giant sign and then after that you want to go east a little bit to talk to the disappointed father once you're done talking to them head north a little bit and right next to the easter bunny you'll see a shifty looking priest talk to him and then he will disappear and once he's disappeared go east a little bit and talk to Egis manis hold space until you see the option to visit the church and click yes once you're at the church you want to talk to each of the three egg priests and then once you're done go back and talk to Egis manis and he will then give you a book Click on the book to read it and click through all of the pages, close the book and talk to him again. From here, just hold spacebar until the dialogue's over and a few seconds later, a cutscene will play. While this is going on, if you guys could please drop a like on this video, it really helps out the channel. I always try to be one of the first, if not the first people to upload a guide whenever a holiday event comes out. So if you could just take a second and please hit that like button. Thanks guys. But anyway, once the cutscene's done, hold down the spacebar and head to the south part of this room and pick up a bronze pickaxe on the table. From here, you want to run east and you want to stand between these two rocks here. They're the fastest ones. And once you're here, you want to mine 15 Easter eggs. Okay, once you have your 15 Easter eggs in your inventory, you want to head north next to the egg priest. You want to use your Easter eggs on the Easter minecart to fill it up. And then from here, you want to run south to the other egg priest and deposit your eggs into their cart as well. And after you put the eggs in that cart, you want to head east to put them in the next cart. Keep in mind guys, you don't want to let these carts run into you. They will slow you down. If they do run into you, it's not a big deal. It only like stalls you by like a second. But if you want to be efficient, don't get hit by the mine carts. Deposit your eggs in this mine cart and then just keep following the rail system over to the west and then to the north to fill up the last two carts. Deposit more eggs in this mine cart and then run north and deposit your last three eggs into the northern minecart. From here, you could just run west and then follow the tracks all the way out back to the Easter Bunny. Once you're back, talk to the Easter Bunny and then you'll get teleported back to the church. From here, talk to Egis Manis and then click yes to investigate the crypt. From here, you want to head south to the bottom of the church, open the door to go outside, run along the pathway, open the door to get into the crypt entrance, and then climb down the crypt staircase. Now you want to talk to the orangish Easter Bunny called Egg. Hold down the space bar for a while until she gives you a sack, a tinderbox, and a spade. Your goal here is to capture the wandering Easter eggs. It's very quick and very simple. You can see the yellow dots on your mini map and that's how you know where they are if you're having a hard time seeing them in person. The only kind of difficult one is the one right here in the main room because it is behind this gate, but I'll show you how to get that done in a second. So just make your way through this little corridor collecting every egg that you come across. And then once you get the last egg in the Western room, you then wanna head south a little bit to the other side of the Easter egg that you can't actually grab. And you wanna use your tinder box on the unlit brazier. And what that'll do is make the egg get too hot so that it is forced to walk out. Now you can run around the wall and pick it up. Once you have that last egg, you then wanna head east into this room here. And you wanna click investigate on this pile of chocolate right here in the middle. Hold the space bar and then dig with the spade and an egg will come up from the ground. Once you have that one, time to get the last egg, which is down the corridor to the north, and it's just wandering around the room, so that's an easy one to get. Once you captured that last one, you wanna head back to Egg the Bunny at the beginning of this dungeon, and then talk to them to give them the egg sack back. Once you're done with that, head back up the crypt staircase, run back into the church, and then you wanna talk to Eggis Manis yet again. And congratulations, you've now completed the 2024 Easter event. The rewards are the Book of Egg and Egg Priest Vestments. You also get two Easter eggs, and all of the previous Easter events in the history of the game now go over to Diango in Drainer Village. So if you want to get one of the previous Easter items, it's over in Drainer Village. So yeah, this is what the outfit looks like. It's okay, I guess. You can right-click on the book and click Preach, and your character will say a bunch of random stuff about eggs. So yeah, that about sums up this video. If it helps you out, be sure to drop a like below. And if you're new here to the channel, this is the first video you've ever seen. I'm currently doing a free-to-play locked level 3 series. And if that sounds interesting to you, I'll have a playlist on screen now that you can click on to check it out. But with all that being said, hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.